Good morning guys, I have decided to do another weekend in my life. I'll try and make this one shorter than my last one because that was very very long but I'm gonna start filming on a Friday today is a Friday because then you'll get to see a day of me doing like uni work and then you'll also get to see a pretty exciting Saturday which is me getting a new tattoo if you haven't met me before hi my name's Alice I am a third year psychology student at the University of Brighton. It is 8.15, I have just gotten out of the shower. I'm now going to sort my breakfast out, pack my lunch for today. What my plan is, is to go to the gym in the morning, have my lunch and then do uni work from like one until five, six-ish. I don't have any plans for the evening. I might see if some of my friends are free, but as of now, that is what I'm doing with my life. So if you want to watch that, stay tuned. Keep watching to see what a uni student does with their Friday and their Saturday and possibly their Sunday. Yes. I apologise, I don't have a chopping board because I'm lazy. I'm done at the gym. It's like 10, quarter past 11, which is sick. This is my outfit, by the way, which I think you saw earlier. I forgot to bring a change of bra, so I'm just in a sports bra. It's definitely a jumper, but it's a thin jumper, so I'm wearing it as a top. So let's hope I don't like, you know, die of sweat. I also forgot to put deodorant on, so. Abby's bringing me deodorant and perfume. What a babe. Thank you for your last <laughs> Oh wait, I didn't put all my rings back on after the gym. Please still be in my pocket. Still no one. Yeah, that's so that's so wonky. I just keep looking in the 
don't know what you're afraid of. I haven't been to that part yet, so I'm not sure. I'm not the girl. Um, it's a vision. I'm going to do that next week. Thank you. Go on, Rodney. Disgusting. Do we want to rock along with the movie or not? What do we think? Are we rocking along with the movie? <laughs> the one on the left. <laughs> hey guys, so it is 10 past 1 in the morning, which is later than I've stayed up. It's not that, it's only like an hour later than I've stayed up recently actually. Explaining today, went to the gym in the morning, had lunch, went to the... No, I say library, it's not the library, it's a building that um, has a little small study space in it that me and some of my mates will go and study in. So I say library, but I don't mean library, but we'll call it library. And then I was talking about how healthy my dinner was going to be, and then Amy and Abby are coming back and we're ordering Indian. So, ordered Indian, watched Starstruck, Emma and Millie went out tonight, so they did that. They're not back yet, but hopefully they will be. And then sat wrote a piece for the collective for church which is like a little student magazine thing we do don't know if it'll be used i don't think it's great but like it's something so we'll try i'm now going to edit i have a vlog from last weekend that's like 30 minutes long and that's already edited so i'm gonna try and chop that down a bit but we'll see but yeah so i'm gonna do that and then go to bed so i'll see you guys tomorrow so it's 20 past 11. My housemates actually today went out for, so my housemates are Millie and Emily, I mentioned them. Millie's like late, really, really late birthday surprise from two of her mates. And so I can say it, because by the time this goes up, it would have happened. They are going to the Ivy for brunch, which is so cute. So they left for that in, oh geez. I am in my tattoo outfit thing. I don't know if I'm gonna wear this shirt. I'll have to wear something over the top, but I'm wearing this crop top. It's quite short. I think I stole it from Grace, but. And my goose and gander joggers because I'm getting a tattoo. And it's on my hip, side, lower hip, butt, side area so i need to flash the whole of the tattoo studio <laughs> with my butt so i'm wearing joggers so i can do that easily and i'm gonna bring one of my dad's big tops to put over the top so that i don't feel really uncomfortable with my butt out and i can like cover the rest of me you know but in an attempt to make my like whole jogger situation not that tragic this is my outfit using a cheeky little bit of the wide angle camera because otherwise there's no way you'd fit yeah got the shirt that i got from charity shop and my joggers and i have winnie the pooh socks on that amy gave me so i am going to watch some teen wolf and drink my tea and do my makeup and maybe straighten my hair and then maybe film a video you know what who knows we're just the whole thing is happening here My jaw still hurts from that naan bread. I'm eating a grenade bar. <coughs> I'm going to meet Abby. I actually really like my outfit. I think it's hella cute. And it's like so comfy as well. And I've rolled it up at the bottom. Got my <coughs> stomper clompers. Who called them that the other day? <laughs> Immy. I just filmed a resolutions video, which if I can edit, I'll try and put up before this. So you may have seen that. If it's up, I'll try and link it. Tried to FaceTime my mum. She was eating lunch with my auntie, I was like, I'll talk to you later. I kind of haven't done. <laughs> Mum knows I'm getting the tattoo. Dad doesn't know I'm getting the tattoo. It's his tattoo. Like ribs would be worse, you know, but like, it's a this, this might be worse. This might be worse. Yeah, the Okay, I'm sweating. Profusely. You're so. We? <laughs> we? Me? Please, the night, Yeah. I mixed up. Yeah. The five roaches today. Oh. When you put it like that, you don't look. Tea. Tea. <laughs> See, I'm really in the mood to buy summer clothes, not winter stuff anymore. I'm done with winter. Yeah, me too. Sunday morning. Oh, 
I'm not going to the gym because lazy and tattoo, so I'm mm, gonna go shower, then I'll be back. Hey guys, it's 5 to 11 on Sunday night and I have filmed a bit over the past few days but haven't really explained what's gone on. So Saturday I saw Abby for coffee at half one. We went to somewhere called Pelicano's after going around like three different coffee shops and they were all full. To be fair, it was lunchtime on Saturday in Brighton so understandable. It hurts so much. Like it, it hurt at the time and like now it just feels raw and it hurt way more than my last one. But it means a lot to me because I'll insert the picture now. It basically is a version of a tattoo that my dad has so that's why it's really important to me the same with my one on my ribs i've got it somewhere where like on a normal day-to-day -day basis you're not going to see it you're not going to see it in summer if i'm wearing shorts and stuff you'll see it if i'm in a bikini but aside from that it's pretty much covered which i like i don't know i just like having them somewhere that like isn't out for everyone but that's just me and i think it looks sick i think it's so cool yeah and then came back here got mackies with emily and millie we were losing the will to live i don't know why i was drained from that tattoo watched letters to juliet which emily and millie had never seen before and they loved it so happy that i got to share that with them that film just makes you feel like all of the happy vibes in the world and then today i didn't go to the gym just because i didn't feel like i was in the mood to with my tattoo and stuff but i'll have to go tomorrow I was meeting katie for coffee at three but then she rang me and was like hey because you've sacked off gym, do you want to just come over and I'll cook vegan shepherd's pie? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to. So I first time my mum and I went to Katie's and I had a shepherd's pie, which was lovely. She just feeds me and she's so nice. And then me, Katie and Joe all went for coffee. And it was really nice because my student pastor was meeting up with a couple of students at half three at Moksha, which is opposite our church. And then was going over at four to pray with the five o'clock service people. Um, and we like crossed paths. And even though we weren't going to meet her, she was like, oh, let me like buy you guys a coffee. And like, I'm a student, yes, but Joe's not a student and Katie's not a student. And so that was so kind of her. So I had coffee and then went to church, which was lovely. And I got to give the communion. So I held the bread whilst everyone had bread and wine. <sighs> went to Mackey's again. So I've just been really unhealthy this weekend. Like really unhealthy, really. Like I'm never actually this unhealthy. This is a whole other level for me. Had Mackey's again, came back here. Emily and Millie both have their boyfriends over, so sat like chilling with them they then started watching the winter love island and i took myself off i've now been editing my new year's resolution video which i think is up the week before this and i've just been burning a candle that my friend amelia got me for christmas and yeah tomorrow's a new day start of a new week got an essay to write in four days so that means i have to write 500 words a day okay it's stressful thinking about it like that but i'm not gonna panic it'll be fine it'll be completely fine it'll be fine don't panic but yeah so that is all from me for today i hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life it was pretty interesting i'm not gonna lie i've had a really amazing weekend i've just felt so happy and like filled with love and just really blessed to have so many amazing people around me and that's why i just love filming it and documenting it because i means i'll always get to remember how like amazing these people make me feel yeah so i'm just so lucky and i just feel really like blessed by god right now with everyone in my life which is a really good start to the year and oh my gosh i'm just gonna slip this in there roxy was at that service and i didn't think she would be so i got to see her and indy was back from new york where she's interning at church there and now she's like just told me she's been hired there which is sick and you know you just see someone you're like oh my gosh like, i can just see like god doing so many amazing things for you and like i'm just so happy for you and you can't like explain why you're so happy but you're just so happy for like someone else's success that's how i felt when i saw indy so i'm just so happy for her so like something i just want to preach to everyone right now is just like pray for your mates and like be so happy for them when they do really good things in life and like it's just so lovely watching other people like grow and and be happy and just like i feel joy when the people around me feel joy i'm just so happy and oh yeah so i'm just gonna go to sleep very happy tonight tomorrow's a new week god's got it it'll be good that's all for today i hope you enjoyed my video i'm gonna love you and leave you i hope you all had an amazing day and i'll see you hopefully next monday with another video bye